What is up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I want to share with you something that helped me increase my silver stack at a rapid pace, and I think it can help you as well. So if you want to grow your silver stack fast, then this is the video for you. Let's get into it. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so what is the thing that helped me to increase my silver stack faster? Well, it's nothing special and it's also nothing expensive anyone could truly afford one of these it is an empty monster box now these come in all different shapes and colors this one here happens to be four american silver eagle coins and when it is full it will hold 500 one ounce american silver eagles now this one here is for Canadian silver maple leaves. It is a slightly different shape, but it also holds 500 one ounce coins, just the maple leaves, not the silver eagles. And in fact, all of the mints have their own version of a monster box that they ship their coins out when they actually release them from the mint. So these boxes all at one point held 500 one ounce coins and what happens is they go to the dealers and then they cut them open and they sell off the coins in tubes or individually and they have these leftover monster boxes laying around and they sell them at a pretty reasonable price if you search empty monster box over at sd bullion you can see they have a large variety here are the kangaroos the krugerans these are the maple leaves. You can see it's just $12 for this one. They also have the silver eagles. Uh, let's see. They've got Philharmonics, a gold eagle monster box. That would be really fun to fill. Britannias. You get the picture. There's a large variety of these boxes available. And what these do is these are actually a great tool for helping you stack because not only are they a great place to store your silver coins, but also they are a great motivator you will want to fill this monster box and the reason i know this is because i have now done it twice the first time i started stacking american silver eagles i made the goal for myself to fill this monster box and it took less than a year if i remember correctly and i wanted to stack them as fast as humanly possible every time I saw my not full monster box. I wanted it to be full. And so instead of spending money on a trip or something I didn't need, I decided to put that money towards Silver Eagles to finish the monster box faster. And after I completed the American Silver Eagle monster box, I moved on to a few other stacking goals. And eventually I got around to stacking the Maple Leafs. And I started stacking these about two years ago in fact here's a clip from when i first started my maple leaf monster box oh yeah we got a tube there and another tube two tubes and they are full of uh canadian silver maple leaves and uh you know i do want to address one uh, question that I got I think it was in my last live stream someone said hey with everything going on in Canada uh, are you still going to be stacking the maple leaves and my response to that was basically look when you're stacking silver you don't want to buy only items that you are absolutely in love with right if you're totally married to your whole stack then you would never want to get rid of it and so some of the stuff in your stack you should be willing to part with should you ever need to. And, uh, you know, hopefully I don't need to part with my stack for any reason. But if I did, these would be one of the first things to go. So I don't really have a problem with getting rid of my maples should I ever need to in the future. But, uh, wow, absolutely stunning. Stunning. So there you go. That was the start of my maple monster box journey and it took me two years But now I can finally say at least as of today 
This monster box is complete. There we go. 500 Canadian silver maple leaves. And yeah, if I ever need to sell them, these probably will be the first thing to go. Now, it took me longer to stack this than I would have liked. It took me about a year for the Eagles and two years for the Maple Leafs, but there was a lot of things that went on in my life and reasons I couldn't stack as heavy as I wanted to. For example, my oldest son had his appendix removed. Um, we moved houses. There's a lot of things that went on, but uh, I stayed motivated, and every time I saw the empty monster box, I thought to myself, I got to get that thing finished. So if you're looking for motivation to help you stack silver, faster these monster boxes are a great way to get that motivation and if you want to stack junk silver you can always purchase the guardhouse boxes you're just gonna have to search for these online i think they have them on ebay and a few other places but these are for junk silver i did one with the half dollars and i did one with the junk silver dimes as well they do make one for the quarters and maybe someday down the road i'll try and stack a full guardhouse box of the junk silver quarters um but that one is actually the biggest it's bigger than these ones so i'm holding off on that one for now uh, or you could stack the 40 percent half dollars and put them in a half dollar box i think they make one for nickels as well you could do war nickels there's lots of different ways you could get motivated to help yourself continue to stack faster with these assorted ways of storing your silver and the benefit of doing it this way is you have a great place to store your silver i mean it's not like you're keeping them in some cheap plastic containers which i have done before and those work for a while until your stack gets too heavy and then they always seem to break so these empty monster boxes they're super thick really sturdy and even if you don't want to stack silver coins you could still buy the empty monster boxes and fill them up with silver bars for example these are probably the best way to store your silver in my opinion uh, they come with lids you can just you know throw a desiccant in there if you want to keep the moisture out uh, or you know if everything's in tubes you don't really have to worry about that as much but uh, you can put the lid on there and then you can stack these up and really get as many of them as you want i know some people buy the whole monster box sealed and that's how they're stacking i don't have the funds <laughs> to stack that way myself so i prefer to do one tube at a time or one coin at a time which i certainly have done before in the past when i was first starting out but once you start to get motivated on that silver stacking journey you're gonna be creative at least i was in finding ways to stack faster to get as much silver as i could because at the end of the day what are you doing you're converting a fiat currency that is made by man and one day will be worthless into real money this is real wealth it has stood the test of time it will always be money and you can pass this down for generations you can take it to other countries and it works as money everywhere around the world it's not like a currency that you can only spend in one place so anyway i think silver stacking is really prudent that's what i'm doing with my money i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any other tips or ways to get motivated put those down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out